Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It's time for 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, we're talking about how to deliver world-class customer service. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to uh, another Wednesday installment of, and I almost said it, I almost said it again. Another Wednesday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. I am your host. Thank you so much for being here. If you would do me the favor when you get here, drop a comment, say hi, hello, your name, where you're watching from, whatever makes sense to you. Go ahead and leave that in the comments. That lets me know that you're watching. I can see that you're watching. Just don't see who you are. I don't know. I walked off without putting my phone where it's supposed to be, so I'm without that. So we'll just have to go without it. So this week we've been talking about uh, customer service and how our, our customers in general. And I kind of got on a, um, a little bit of a tear yesterday on the radio show about the value of customers and how we get this we get this idea in our head sometimes talked a little bit about it here, but we get this idea in our head sometimes that the customer should be happy that we're solving the problem for them or, or, or that, that I put in the time I, I dedicated my time to finding a solution to your problem. The reality is that it doesn't work that way. Right. And so, you know, one of the questions I, I like, to use when we're talking about this to explain this is when's the last time that you had bad customer service? Just think about that for a second. When is the last time that you had bad customer service? We can all remember a time. I mean, for me, it was the day before yesterday and will be later again today. But uh, I'm projecting that expectation on that service provider. We can all remember the time we had a bad customer service experience because those things really stand out to us. The the best customer service is the customer service you don't need. That, That the service provider, the company, the product just solves the problem and allows you to carry on with your life. Sometimes it solves it really well and you're really happy with it. That's great. But in order to deliver world... I mean, world-class customer service, you almost have to be anonymous. It's kind of like the light switch, right? When you go flip on the light switch, you don't think, man, the utility company's doing a fantastic job today. But if you go flip on the light switch and the light doesn't come on, what do you say? Dog, go in there, hide. What are they doing? Why don't, why aren't my lights working? Right? I mean, They do a fantastic job every day. You do a fantastic job every day. Sometimes our ego gets in the way and we want that positive reinforcement of somebody saying, hey, you're doing a fantastic job today. But as we talked about yesterday, it's the little things. It's the little things done day in and day out that make the difference, right? So as a, as an entrepreneur, whether we are working for someone or working for ourselves. Our job is to solve problems for other people. Do the little things every day that solve problems for other people. One of the great things you can do if you work inside another organization is to don't don't forego your paying customer, right? But think about the people around, just your immediate circle, the people that are, are immediately around you. What kind of challenges do they face? What kind of outcomes are they trying to create? And how can you help them do that? When you do that, you become a super valuable resource. People don't really, might not really know why, but that's okay. They know you're a valuable resource and that they will reward you for that. 
I'm I'm working through. I'm not really ready to fully share all this here, but I'm I'm working through the law of attraction, and and I have some pretty interesting. I've found some pretty interesting things about the law of attraction that I want to share with you guys in the coming weeks. But what I will share with you today is this idea that if you put out positive energy, you'll get positive energy back. Right. So if you are, and it, it, it's very much in line with this idea where focus goes, energy flows. The things that I'm trying to resolve, the things that I'm, if I'm trying to do good, I'll get good in return. Right. If you're trying to do bad, you'll get bad in return. So find ways to solve problems for other people, create value, do the little things every day and make the best customer service, the customer service they don't even know they're getting. If you do that, man, you're going to be a winner. Hey, just a quick programming update for those of you that might be interested. Um, I will not be at the coffee shop today. So Joe, that is especially for you. Um, Schedule's not going to allow it today. My apologies for that. For anybody who was planning on being there and loves to be there, you can still go there and enjoy a great cup of coffee at Old Town Coffee. But I'm not going to be there. Uh, next programming note is that today's Wednesday. That means tomorrow's Thursday. I'll be back here with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. And coming up on Friday is Free Coaching Friday. If you have a question, comment, or topic that you would like for me to tackle or you just want to try and stump the coach, go ahead and leave a message. Send me an email, send an email to Tom at TomRigsby.com. Leave a message here on the page or even a comment in the video. And I'll pick the best of those and address those on Friday. Otherwise, you guys have a fantastic Wednesday, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs>